All right, so let me see a basic line. Pop it. That is not normal. You're turned in a little bit. That is yeah. not normal. I can, the good thing is I can feel it, but I also stepped too far. Yep. Okay, so one more time. Good. All right, now what I want you to do is to take your back hand and hang it up in the air like this. Like the, the foil people? Like the foil people. And when you lunge, Ah, that's where you're wrong. It's not just doing this. It's doing this. So it's like a, like I'm pulling basically. I want to pull down almost. Not quite. What you're actually going to do is take that closer to that shoulder. So I want to pinch. When you go down, uh -huh. see that shortens that side? Yeah. By shortening that side, this side gets longer. This side is getting longer anyway because right. you're coming from guard and you're extending right. under the elbow, which increases that distance. Sure. For that to happen fluidly, that's right, this side gets shorter. And to recover, here's the magic, all you have to do is return the two halves of your body to an even length. Okay. Okay? So, now you got the theory. One lunge and recover. Pop it. Okay, so you threw your hand back. And I, back. Threw, I threw it back and then did this. Right, okay, so let's put down the same. Alright, put both hands like this. Alright, now, when I wiggle on a hand, I want you to push up from the elbow and drop the other. Notice as this goes up, keep going. That has to get shorter. Yeah, once you reach full flexion, you have to start leaning. And if you keep your head centered, you don't have to lean. Ah, oh, so your grip's moving. Good. Now the stool. Lie down on your side. Hand to come this way, uh -huh. and then this way. Your top side has to shorten. See what you're starting to do with your head? Let yeah. that happen intentionally. So when I take your hand down towards your hip, your head comes up. Good. Now let's make it easy so we don't strain your neck muscles. Support your head here. Uh -huh. and, uh, all of a sudden, it gets easier to shorten back here, right? Yeah. That means you're going to have an easier time lunging in the other direction. In fact, one of the ways I know people who've done modern Olympic fencing, even if we're not using modern weapons, is they're really good at doing the mess effective bogan technique on one side, or triangle stepping out to one side, but they can't triangle step for shit on the other. It's like on one side, why are you even teaching me this? This is a no brainer. On the other side, wait a minute, what you talking about? Roll over, same thing on the other side. Support your head. All right, now slow it down, make it really small. Really small, really gentle. Use your arms, you don't crank your neck muscles. So as you side bend, your spine just
fall and now I'm making an explosive movement when I'm already balanced to go that direction. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't do a full one A there in a direct cut, but I hit almost as hard. That's right. Is that it? That's going to be forward. That's right. With all your body weight, you've got all the power you need. So now, try it the other way. So from in your extension, retract your elbow, get your body weight shifting from here to here, and notice that you can recover easily. Or you can, can keep the extension and recover forward right. and lunge again. And lunge again. That's a thing nobody in Hema can do. One thing I did here with a while back, right, is if you're lunged, also to basically collapse this knee to help bring that body weight back. Is that a thing or no? If I'm here, right, and I bring the body weight back, I don't have to collapse the knee. You're already coming back. I'm using my body weight from my ribs. But they aren't going down this ring for teaching purposes. Right. And do it palm up the other way. Because this forces you, see that it forces you to do that first one? Yeah. Right. Right. All right, now, yeah. just come back up with the hand. Back in. Oh, I'm just, yeah, that's easy. It's super easy. That's way easier than like having to push. Yeah. Much. Okay. Bop nugget. Recover backwards. Bop nugget. Recover forwards. Retreat, retreat. Two lunges. Recover forwards. Okay, so you still collapse that back leg. It still needs to be a straight leg on the lunge. So you can recover forward with your body mass, and then just fire again. Try that. Yeah, well, that's that's almost yeah, nice, huh? Yeah, but it's also too far. All right, so now. It's, yep, and then lunge again. Yes, and it actually isn't too far. You're a big guy who's got a big reach. You can consistently so nail people from 12 feet away. The reason I said it too far is I actually came up off of that. If you drag it behind you as you do so, you still keep good form. And that's where the drag comes from with the explosive modern Olympic lunge. Okay. Try it.
way easier. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the tripod here. And what I'd like you to do is several lunges in a row. So start in the blue corner, and I'm just gonna track you. And you choose whether you want to recover forwards or backwards, okay? Remember what the extension does to the other side. Good, how's that? It's really, it's, it's like way easier. Okay, now imagine you're fighting a fencer who is retreating on your attack and you're gonna do a double lunge. So you're gonna chase them down the strip with t three fast lunges, recovering forwards as you do so. How's them apples? That's good. Awesome. 